When I was eight, when people asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, I always replied, a cowboy. 20 years later, I was a musterer in Queensland. It was hard work, but for me it was a childhood dream come true. At the end of the job, the boss gave us vague directions back to the station. The others just zoomed off. Probably keen for a shower in the pub. Me? I decided to enjoy a slow, solitary, scenic ride through the channel country we had finally reached. I decided to follow what looked like a dried up river channel. Only the surface was dry, and I suddenly found myself waist deep in thick mud, my motorbike completely submerged. I tried to get it out for a while, but when the sun started to set, I knew I was going to spend the night out. I went into survival mode. The nights had been cold so far and with no more than a t-shirt on me, I had better get dry quickly. I lit a cigarette. Then I lit a fire. As I sat there with my clothes, socks and shoes drying on sticks, exhausted and hungry, I praised the gods of tobacco and swore an eternal allegiance to my savior, the cigarette. The next day, when the paramedics took my body temperature, it read just below 36 degrees. Without a fire, they would have found me unconscious at best. And so, for the next 10 years, I regularly told this story, and it completely justified my smoking habit. On the 24th of September 2012, my life changed. And my sworn allegiance to tobacco started to feel quite misguided. And then I realized one simple fact. It wasn't actually my cigarettes that saved me that time. I haven't smoked in three years, but I can always light a fire.